Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D-Lloyd and we are here starting off our NCAA 06 Kentucky Wildcat Dynasty mode series. Now, of course, I've tried this before, but I promise you, promise you we're definitely going to get through this one. Just like our Redskins franchise over there in Madden, we're going to get through this here in NCAA 06. So, I could not find the current roster. So, the 2019 rosters, I could not find it, but we do have the 2018 rosters so we're going to go back in time just one season and then we'll be able to update the rosters from there so i'm currently creating my coach we'll go through the roster so you guys can see it but i am excited you guys know i love these older games just so much detail um, compared really to like the newer games so i am definitely excited so we're going to turn coaching contracts off we were two and nine in 2004 of course that really does not matter too much because we're using the 2018 roster so definitely definitely excited we probably will have a similar format most episodes will probably carry around two episodes some may have a little bit more some may have a little bit less but this one which is going to have this intro and then we're going to have just one game in this episode at least to go ahead and get things started but like i said i'm definitely excited for the series you guys know i graduated from the university of kentucky i've been trying to do in kentucky dynasty mode series like a long-term one but i think this one is definitely going to be it so right away we'll go ahead and hop into our schedule so week one we'll leave that as open just because of course you can't recruit before then and we can use week one to actually recruit and most teams don't have a week one game anyway we play louisville at home they are number eight we play idaho state we're not going to change too much to our schedule one thing that is cool though that we'll definitely get into in the future we'll keep idaho state there is that they have d1 AA schools actually in the game so it's not just fcs east F fcs north south whatever it's the actual d1 AA schools so jmu's in there for example so that is definitely pretty cool but we're going to keep this schedule basically the way it is so we'll be at home against louisville who is ranked number eight we play idaho state we go to indiana play florida then our conference play really south carolina old miss mississippi state auburn vanderbilt georgia and tennessee are all the teams that we're going to be playing so we have an a minus strength of schedule as for rosters and you can go ahead and see a red shirts you can see our roster as well terry wilson is our quarterback a sophomore 76 speed then you have danny clark and gunner hoke as the quarterback so nobody we could even redshirt if we wanted to there we have benny snell who of course got drafted by the pittsburgh steelers in real life 91 overall but only has 82 speed so that could definitely cause some issues especially in this game we have king there we have Cavazier Smoke, who's been tearing it up in real life. Um, only at 80 speed, we will redshirt him. And then we have Rodriguez, who we're going to redshirt as well. Not the fastest groups of running backs out there. Not the fastest group of running backs out there. Wide receiver Dorian Baker is our number one guy. Lynn Bowden is there as well. And we will redshirt Marvin Alexander. We have Josh Ali. Uh, I don't know if we want to rush any of these other. We'll rush her Allen Daly. So we'll rush her him and Akeem Hayes. Those are the guys we're going to rush her. We have a bunch of wide receivers. So we don't need to recruit one right away. Um, the only one leaving is Bouvier and Dorian Baker. Those are the only wide receivers that are leaving us. Um, as for tight end, we have CJ Conrad, who's a 90 overall. Uh, and then we have two freshmen. So we'll go ahead and register keaton upshaw he's 6'5 we'll keep three active tight ends on the roster as for our tackles we'll let landon young play but we will register dorian Kennard. so only one right tackle um but in this game i don't think linemen really get hurt that much so that's definitely a good sign as for our guards nobody could be registered we have a good one and bunchy stalling so we need to replace him and get another right guard in um, hopefully we can land a pretty decent recruit as for center Quentin Wilson he'll get a red shirt our defensive ends well we have one freshman that is Devon Hawkins I believe you say his name Devon Hawkins so we're going to go ahead and red shirt him defensive tackles um, let's go ahead Marquand McCall let's give him a red shirt outside linebackers Josh Allen of course 
he is a beast we're not going to rush him at all um but we have a couple of freshmen but these freshmen are already registered so not much we could do here for our outside linebackers we're going to be running a 4-3 as opposed to the 3-4 hybrid that kentucky currently runs jordan jones is our middle linebacker then we have cash daniels as well we'll go ahead and rest shirt deandre square and i think we'll rest shirt christopher oaks oh so we'll go ahead and rest up both of them as for cornerbacks Beatty's a senior Lonnie Johnson so basically all of our guys are going to be up out of here after this year so Stanley Garner only has 80 speed which scares me we'll give him a red shirt Jamari Brown will give him a red shirt can't do much for our free safety position but Darius West will be starting with the 84 overall to Mike Edwards 92 overall and he's going to start fourth really not much else so we need to get a kicker and our punter is good so that is basically our guys so you see our top guys rating wise is mike edwards benny snell cj conrad and josh allen as our guys that are rated over 90 then we have an 80 overall quarterback in terry wilson so we'll go ahead and remove these guys from the depth chart with the red shirts and there's basically not much else so we'll set up the recruiting board i'll show you guys what our recruiting board looks like matter of fact before we do that let's take a look at the preseason polls, the Heisman watch is going to be, it should be all out of whack. But right now, the preseason polls are the, are the same to what it was in 2006. So it's not going to reflect the current roster. So you see USC is ranked number one, but they're only a B plus team. So I don't expect that to really stand too long. Tennessee and number two. And man, speaking about Tennessee, they're having a terrible season, aren't they? To start off the season, Iowa, Oklahoma, Florida, State, Texas, Michigan, Louisville, LSU, Virginia Tech. You have Ohio State down at 12. Bama is 16 in this game, but they are an A overall. I think probably the highest overall that we've seen so far. UVA is a C plus overall, so I don't see them maintaining that number 22 ranking. As for us, let's see where Kentucky is. We are scrolling down quite a lot, and bam, number 88. In the country two-star program four-star academic prestige which is definitely pretty cool but we have a lot to work to do here with kentucky especially playing in the sec we will look at the heisman watch but like i said i think it may be a little out of funk and it is so we're not going to pay too much attention to this beforehand look a kicker is on the heisman list um and it shouldn't be much with the all americans either yet so all americans this season are going to be all all out of whack conference outlook they have tennessee finishing one but i think this is based off of the ratings rankings again they have us coming in 12th place in the sec the toughest place to play this will have an immediate impact of course gainesville florida is going to be the toughest we're not in the top 25 so nobody has to worry about coming and playing against us so once once i like i said before we're going to go ahead and do the recruiting then i'll show you guys what we end up with we have 12 scholarships available so we'll come back and we'll see our recruiting board all right guys so we simulated week one just because there's not much we could actually do but these are the guys that we ended up putting on our recruiting board 12 guys fill up the 12 scholarships we focused on need really when it came to the in-season recruiting remember we could also recruit different guys in the off season so it's a little bit different from ncaa 14 in that aspect you see the interest level meter showing that not a lot of guys have a lot of interest but we do have a hundred points so the Kenny Jackson is the only guy that really has some sort of interest. And we are actually number one on his list. His last high school game had 11 tackles and a sack. Runs a 4 4 3 40 estimated. It can change. So that's definitely cool. Can't catch, but that squat looks ridiculous. We are going to give him, we're going to give him like 12 points. Try to go ahead and bring him in. Josh Harris, because we need cornerbacks. 6'3, 178. We are number two on this list right behind Penn State. You see that 40 time. It's unofficial. Super unofficial because ain't nobody running a 4-1-6. But we know he's fast. Even if that goes up to a 4-2 or even a 4-3, we know this guy is going to be fast. So he's not really concerned about our style of football, which is cool. He has the A-minus hand grade. 
the awareness is vertical is good neck with the 6'3 frame is really really good so josh harris looks like he could be a legit baller so we'll add him some points as well um quarterback Dwayne davis really don't need one because terry wilson's only a sophomore but when you guys see this man's 4'4", 640 you will understand why we threw him on this list so his accuracy isn't the highest his arm strength is crazy penn state ohio state and Notre dame are his schools but we're going to try to make a run possibly so we'll give him maybe like 10 points i'm a little less sure about that one so now let's look at the top of the list so we need a guard andy crowder just doesn't have a lot of interest we'll see where we are when it comes to a lot of these guys we're last on his list here we go we're third on chad vincent so maybe we could get two cornerbacks who run a 4 one, six, 40, who also looks very good so we'll add him some points uh michael morocco and the, well, the way i typically like to do these uh, is basically we're only trying to sign like three or four of these guys. The off-season recruiters, we're going to get a lot of the guys, the more realistic guys. These are the shot in the dark. A lot of these guys are five-star, four-star players. Um, so really, landing three or four of these guys is a win because remember, we're only a two-star prestige school. So Michael Morocco, a tackle. Huh, man. We're going to try to... Prestige does not matter to him, bet. So we're going to go ahead and <laughs> we're going to give you... 12 points sir try to bring him in there left tackle we get our offensive line legit ah, this guy looks a little not as much interested but if we get our line correct i think that's more important than even these other cornerbacks rob haynes doesn't have that much interest reggie wise is like he's basically just wanting ohio state and not much else tied in john brown ohio state not much else there either, but we do need a tight end. He said, we'll know where we stand with John after we play our rivals, Louisville. So, and I'm sorry, you're going to hear me say Louisville. You're going to hear me say Louisville. You're gonna say, I said Louisville. Then when I went to school in Kentucky, everybody calls it Louisville. So I started calling it Louisville. And now you see kind of a mixture of me calling the two different names at the same time. But John Brown, I don't know if we want to put points. Let's put some points on him and just kind of see just eight and then see what happens after the game brad bentley doesn't have much interest it's going to be tough for us to get him so these are the guys i think really have some sort of interest so now we can go ahead and maybe ration out the remaining points he looks like he's going to either alabama or florida so we'll just ration out the points with these remaining guys so let's give everybody two to kind of start two extra points to start and these are going to be the guys that we are going to go after for sure. So, so bam. This is what we're going to do for now. We'll see. We'll come back. But we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 of the 12 guys that we're going to go after. And hopefully um, this strategy works and we could bring some people in. Um, also, I don't think there was any games. Well, was only a few games maybe last week. Everybody basically had a buy in the top 25. Nope, we did have one game. Arizona State destroyed Temple 54 to 21. Um, Louisville is still ranked number eight. We'll look at their roster because we're about to play them and see what Louisville is working with in this matchup. So. Okay, so we start at the beginning of the alphabet. All right, so top quarterback for Louisville is Jawan Pass, 78 overall. So already does not look too good. Running back, they don't look strong here. Um, they do have a great wide receiver in Jalen Smith, 6'4". They have another one in Des Fitzpatrick. Who could cause us some problems and the receivers not only do they have speed they have that height so 94 speed at 63 that looks very very solid um line they have a left tackle don't have a good right tackle their guards look decent decent center i guess your defensive end you have a good one in jonathan greenard i think that's how you say his name other than that no other good defensive ends you have okay defensive tackles 
You have a decent left outside linebacker. Right outside linebacker isn't that great. Middle linebacker looks good, and he has 85 speed. Marlon Character is their top cornerback, 92 speed, 6'1", 82 overall. That's really it. Free safeties and strong safeties. So they really don't look... They have a great kicker, by the way. They really don't look that much better than us, if they're actually even better than us. Uh, we're going to play on TV. That is good. Because in this game, when you don't play on TV, you don't get any commentary at all. So here's the actual matchup. They're a B plus. We are a B. We have a better defense. We have an A plus defense. I think that's mainly Mike Edwards, you know, Josh Allen. But hopefully we can hold our own. Hopefully not only hold our own. We're playing that night. We should be able to win this game, so I feel confident. But let's go ahead and hop into it. Ah, oh, man. So before we hop into the game, already we have a player that committed an NCAA fraction. Let's see what it is. Jordan Griffin. So not a major player for us. Academics. Let's see what happened. Rumors are circulating that his progress reports may have been doctored. Oh, my gosh, man. This is news we sure don't want to leak out. Let's take care of it before it escalates. What are you doing, Jordan? You over here changing your grades? <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, this is pretty This is pretty big. This is definitely pretty big. So, you see the NCAA is going to have interest unless we basically... We could suspend the guy for like 10 games, and that's basically all of our action points. We're not going to have much discipline points left. Let's look at our depth chart really quick. Dude, already giving us headaches, man. All right, so Jordan Griffin, 76. We have a we have Tyrell Ajian, a Ajian right behind him. So it's not a terrible loss. We just don't need the NCAA coming after us. Ah, oh, man, we have to figure this one out. I don't remember how to get back to it. Let me figure out how to get back to this situation. Here we go. It's probably program standards. There we go. Bam. All right. So suspending him for, like, just one game doesn't really do much. I just don't want – I really just don't want to lose all of our discipline – action points that's really what it comes down to i really don't mind suspending him for the season that is all of our points all right so we're going to suspend him for four games and let's hope the ncaa doesn't trip too much four game suspension for jordan griffin because this dude wants to act a fool before the season even starts dude you're changing your grades in what september you haven't even taken the midterm yet. I don't know what he's doing, but anyway, let's hop in. Hopefully, the four games is enough, so let's go ahead and hop. I did take action, right? We did, so I don't know why he's doing that. All right, so now you see we're using Oregon's playbook. Let's go ahead and hop into this one. So they pick Louisville to beat us. So, of course, we're the underdogs, but like I said, looking at the roster, looking at ours, I think we do have a good shot, even though they are ranked number eight in the country let's see if we have some good luck here on the coin toss so they picked tails failed them we're going to take the ball see what we could do all right here we go first play from scrimmage and right away incomplete pass by the way i forgot to show you guys we are playing on we might be able to show it here we're playing on heisman difficulty so it is there change no sliders at all but Heisman difficulty is what we're going to be playing on basically for this entire series. If I do make a change to the sliders, I will let you guys know. But it is default, at least for now. And right here, we're going to find Richardson making that catch there. So third and short. There we go. Third and three here. We are going to go to the ground. The line is shifting the wrong direction. Can we get the first? We do. Benny Snell picking up the first down for us. Let's go. First and 10. Going with the play fake here. Dorian Baker. He's there. He makes the catch. Another first down for us. And he gets injured. So his first catch of the season, he injures his arm. Hopefully, it's not too bad. All right, here we go. First play. After the injury, we're rolling out. 
Why didn't that take a shot? We could have messed up and we did. So we throw our first interception of the season, of the series there. Try to try to do way too much, man. We should have either ran for the few yards or thrown the football away. Not a good start for our offense. So Dorian Baker, strained bicep. He is out for the game. So we're going to play without our number one wide receiver for the rest of this game. But our defense looking good on the first play. Play fake. And it's a sack. Let's go. Third and long. We're going to come out in our dime. We're going to get our stadium loud. I think that's the loudest they're going to get. Taking a shot deep. And he has his receiver. And they make the catch, man. It's one of those tall receivers we were just talking about. All the way down to the eight. Now we need to come up with... Goal line stand somehow. Direct snap. Breaks one tackle. Breaks more. And he's down to what? The one yard line? Ah, oh, man. All right. So here we go. They go with the. Oh, they got us with the reverse. But Josh Allen is there to make the stop. Third and goal. All right. So we're going to drop back in zone, even though we're in goal line. Trying to pump up the crowd, get them loud. Hopefully they can't hear. You guys can't hear. You don't know what the play is. Hand it up the middle. Apparently, they do know the play because they're in there for the touchdown. All right, so we are back on offense after giving up that touchdown. We need to answer back with some points of our own. We're going to give it to Benny Snell, see what he could do here. And he's finding some room to run. Okay, Benny. Nice little six-yard run right there. All right, second and four. Looking for C.J. Conrad, see if he can get open. He's not. And picked. Interception number two. Ah, oh, man. Terrible read. Playing awful today. All right, so first and ten from the ten. So basically first and goal. And incomplete. And their quarterback, Jawan Pass, is injured. Hopefully, he's out for the game. That'll be great news for us. All right, second and 10. Back of quarterback in the game. They hand it off, though. We get a stop, but it's going to be third and short. There we go. A big, big down here. They have three tight ends, or two tight ends, and they get in the end zone again. Oh, man. Two scores back to back. That one was all fault for the... Well, both were off interceptions, right? But that one got them down to the 10. And now we have to try to come back. All right. Third and 13. Their quarterback is out for four weeks. So at least we'll be playing against the backup. But we need to get something going offensively on our own first. We took a shot deep in coverage. Incomplete, three and out. And we're getting booed. We are getting booed already. First quarter, man, that did not take long at all. This one is huge here. This is the loudest we're going to get right now, really. All right, so our fans are out of it. And we had a chance to get a stop, but look at little, man, breaking tackles. No wonder our crowd isn't getting into it anymore. This is already looking bad. There we go. So it's first and ten after that big run. And look at this. If he fumbles the football, we pick it up. So we do somehow catch a break. It was a crazy run by the running back. We needed a turnover. We got one. Hopefully this is the swing and momentum that we needed. Who's that? Mike Edwards who forced the fumble? No. That was 21. Who is that? I don't even know who that is, man, but I appreciate you. I appreciate you for real. Westry, good play. All right, so we're going to run a option here. It's definitely risky. And pitch it out. Not much there at all. We're able to get, what, maybe a yard? <laughs> two for eight, 18 yards, two interceptions. My man's playing like Terry Wilson. All right, here we go. Maybe we should be able to get this one. We pitch it out. Is that a first? 
fourth and inches, man. That. All right, we have to make a decision. This is extremely risky, man. We're at our own 14 yard line, but we have to get something here. But this game's gonna be over. See if we get them to jump first. Uh, and we jump, so never mind. We're bringing out the punt team. That did not work. They starting in great field position, but what's new? They go with the play fake, come up and make a tackle. Of course, we don't get the tackle. We push them out of bounds, but I think that's the first down there. It's not so second and in inches. Our crowd is not. I am tapping the heck out of L2. Now, second and in inches. Go with a play fake. Let's go. Finally get a deflection there. Third and inches. All right, here we go. It is third down. I need you guys to get louder than that, and they are not going to. We're in the 4-4. Four -four. We're bringing pressure. They run the football. Oh, they go with the play fake, and we get a sack. Let's go. Forcing them to punt the football. We just need to get we just need to get something going offensively. That's it. Oh, a fake punt. And they pick it up. I wasn't even paying attention. I did not think they were gonna do that. I know it's a rivalry game. I should expect better. Alright, so they get the football at the 32. We just need another stop. They have a good kicker, right? If I remember correctly. So they're probably in field goal range. But we just need to get a stop first. Good tackle by Josh Allen. Nobody's there. There we go. Just make the tackle. Make the tackle. Let's go. They have a decision to make. All right, so they're kicking a field goal here. See if the crowd could get a little bit louder. I think that's the most they're going to get right here. 46-yarder. He's a 90 overall kicker, and he shows why that one's good. There we go. Benny Snell stays in bounds, though. Third and two. Third down, we're going with a toss here. There we go. We get some blocks, but Benny Snell's insanely slow, and he fumbles the football. Ah, oh, man. This is <laughs> it's a humbling experience, to say the least. All right, so a 37-yarder. It's good. All right, so we're here to start things off in quarter number three. Believe it or not, I don't think our defense has played terrible. They've just been in terrible positions all day long. You see right there, we get a tackle for a loss. That's good. We've been struggling stopping the run, but I think we've been playing decent. Um, our offense has just been pathetic. Really, really bad. But right here, it is second and 11. They go back to the ground. We got him in the backfield, third down. Here we go, third and 11. Taking the shot deep down the field, and this Colts. And it's a touchdown, man. 72 yards. He's able to get his foot in bounds, get his balance, and then take off. All right, it's getting bad, it's getting bad. All right, so let me get something going offensively. Even the direct snap doesn't work. Benny Snell's just too slow. Running out of ideas here. Nice little run. Going with another option. That's like the only thing we've had any type of success with. And does not work there. Another three and out, man. They have the football at the 27. After a terrible punt. And wow, Fitzpatrick makes the catch. Mike Edwards was there. At least I thought I was there. They about to blow us out bad now. This is what happens when you jump straight into all Madden. That was a bad read by me. Touchdown. All right, so we have to let this thing air out. Try to figure something out. 
Maybe we'll find a go-to receiver. We'll find something that works at some point. We didn't get time right there. Three for 12, man. Oof. We're one for five on third downs. We're just trying to get the first down here. Ooh. I don't know where he was throwing the football there, but they're taking over at the 11. Touchdown. We were manned up. I don't know where that guy was. There's another one for them. All right, guys. So we are about to start the greatest comeback of all time. I don't even believe that. But we're just trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work with this offense. We try to change things around, man. Makes the catch, breaks the tackles. I think he's a yard short. All right, two yards short. Third and two. Power versus power. And <laughs> they won. Clearly, man. Look at this. Fair catch interference. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I literally didn't do anything. They pushed me into the ball. Look at this. They push me into the ball, and we get called for the fair catch interference. That just shows you the type of day we're having right now. All right, we just have to remember this boat whipping we're getting here. Hopefully use it to get better as a team. Mm, we missed there. Seven straight completions for the back of quarterback. Second to five. It's a run. We loaded up the box. Did not matter. Another first down. Another catch, man. Once again, I thought we were there defensively. Apparently, we were not. Mm, we get a nice tackle there. Third down. So third and two. Five for eight on third down. Let's try to make him five for nine here. Wow, a nice reverse, and he is gone. Touchdown. I followed the running back. Everybody followed the running back. 48 to nothing, man. We still have a quarter to play. All right, we're just trying to get a first down here. Here we go. Go ahead and dive. I don't know how to slide, so we're going to dive. At least we got a first down. We're starting to play for pride. Let's try to get a couple more of these first downs. Mm, we overthrew him. Third down. And we hear the boos again. We're one for seven on third downs. Safety's coming up. We may have to get rid of this one quickly. And Bowden makes the catch. There we go. Another first down. Let's go. Nothing there. We're looking at another third down. He made the catch. He does make the catch. Are they going to give us the first? First down. We needed that. No blocking at all. Mm. You got stuck. Third and long. Third and 17. Picked off. Huh. <sighs> This is awful. Uh, so, they won the Governor's Cup, man. Remember all that trash I was talking at the beginning of the game, saying, oh, I think we're right there with them roster-wise. Boy, was I wrong. Probably should have played some Tuno games. Even then, I don't think that was going to help this massacre, man. It was it was rough. But that's what this series is about, right? Taking a bad team and building this thing up. This is definitely going to be a challenge. It's not going to be a one or two year 
rebuild type of fix, man. But 51 to 0, that's that's tough. 306 to 97 total yards. 7 for 21 passing. 19 carries for 43 yards. Nothing about this game was good. Nothing. Except for their quarterbacks. Look at their quarterback ratings. Oh, oh man, that was bad. All right, guys. So, terrible week. We have a bounce back game against a D1 AA school in Idaho State. So, hopefully, that is a win for us. But we'll see how recruiting went. I don't expect it to be good. Chad Vincent dropped after a loss like that. I can see why it dropped. Um, let see what info. You're the reason why he's interested in Kentucky. Well, not going to be for too long. Michael Morocco, we stayed the same. But at least our interest went up a little bit. So, that's cool. Dwayne Davis, we stayed the same. Chasing Penn State. Um, here we go. Kentucky Kentucky passes the first cut. So, Kenny Jackson still wants to come here. That is the greatest news ever because, I mean, his discipline is bad. <laughs> so, he may have some academic issues when he gets here. But for a five-star, we'll, we'll take it. We dropped for Josh Harris, but, you know, we're still close. Penn State, the number one school, of course. He doesn't really like any of our pitches, but that's fine. We moved up on Matt Rushing, so we're now up to a four. Michigan is number one, but we're right behind. That's not bad. And then our last guy is John Brown. We are now number two. So we're making we're making some, you know, progress with some of these players. Which isn't bad. I don't know how we're making progress after that 51 to 0 loss, but we are. Apparently, Oklahoma lost opening week. USC had a close game. Of course, Louisville moved up one spot. I mean, where's two star program? I guess we have to remember that, but still, it was pretty rough. Miami, they lost. Oklahoma lost to TCU. So a couple of people losing, even Boise State losing. Like I said, we're just hoping that our bounce back game could be next week. That's not on TV, of course, but it's against Idaho State. And you see the difference in overalls. This has to be the game that we end up winning. But that is everything that we have for this episode. I hope you guys are excited for this series. As you've seen from game one, this is not one of those, you know, after one season where competing for bowl game series this is going to be a long long journey but i hope you guys are excited for it i'm excited for the challenge we are not going to be tweaking this difficulty at all we want all that smoke we want this to be as hard as possible and i think it's going to be pretty difficult because i'm just not that great at this game made terrible decisions on heisman they're not you know they're not forgiving with the mistakes you would have made but i hope you guys are excited if you are please go ahead and leave this video a like it helps me out a lot subscribe if you haven't already it's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.